Are you a new agent and want to brand yourself, but you really don't know where to start? Then this video is for you. I'm going to talk about branding yourself as a new agent. I've done this and I think that I've done it very successfully because it definitely helped my career. But I'll tell you, I've seen some bad branding out there. I don't want that to happen to you. And I've seen agents that don't even have a brand and I don't want that to happen to you. Keep watching this video so that way you can know how to create your brand as a brand new agent. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Chasen J. Miles and I am a real estate agent here in Dallas, Texas. And on my channel, I share tips and tools and systems for new agents to get their careers going. Or even if you're not even in real estate yet and you're thinking about it, this will help you as well. So if you like that type of content, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to my channel. Now, I am going to give you in this video my 90 day action plan. I'm going to give it to you for free. This is going to be especially helpful to you if you are at that place and you just don't know what to do day to day, how to build your business, all that good stuff. So keep watching this video and I'll tell you where to go and get that. Other than that, let's go ahead and hop into it. So when you're thinking about your brand, right? Let's let's think about any brand. A brand has a name. It has a look, it has a feel, it has all of that. And you can have that as a real estate agent as well. What you'll see that's very common these days is real estate agents brand themselves as a team or a group because I mean, at the end of the day, you're working with a group of people to get a real estate transaction done. So when I first got in real estate, I've been through a few different brands and I'll just kind of go down the line. I started out with my brand Central Dallas Living. I wanted everything to be Central Dallas Living. I had a logo for it. I had colors for it, a Facebook page for it. That was the name that I wanted to go by. It was Central Dallas Living at Keller Williams Realty. I got rid of that one. Then I moved over to the Chasten J. Miles team. This was when I started building my business and I was branching off into a team. And so I branded myself as the Chasten J. Miles team. Well, I ended up not wanting it to be about my name anymore because anytime a problem was going down, they were automatically coming to me thinking that I was the one that caused it. So what I did was I scratched that brand. I moved over to my current brand, which is Founders Real Estate Group. Now, one thing about these brands is it's basically how people are going to know your business. And so you have the option. You can just brand your name. Like if your name is John Doe and you want to make John Doe real estate that can be your brand or if you want to make central dallas real estate that can be your brand but whatever brand you create make sure that it's something that's easy for people to remember easy for people to see and and talk about you don't want something super complicated so the first step with your brand is think of a name for yourself once you do that you're going to go ahead and get a domain and get a logo get all of that kind of stuff but it starts with the name once you have your name established you want to figure out what your specialization is going to be and here's what i mean by specialization what type of real estate do you want to do what type of client do you want who do you want to help now before you jump in the comments and say i want to help everybody and and i want to work with everybody duh we know that we're gonna we're gonna take the money as it comes right i know that's right so what i'm talking about is how you want to brand yourself so one mistake that i kind of did early on in my career i started branding myself only as a luxury agent right i would post big houses and i would do open houses and just big houses and what that started to do was people would reach out to me asking me real estate questions they would tell me that they're working with somebody else because they didn't think that i worked with people who didn't have luxury budgets and i was like no that's not true so it started kind of hurting me more than it was helping me and so with specialization you want to think about what types of properties do you want to sell? You know, what does that look like? Whether it be condos, townhomes, luxury, single family homes, new construction. Think about what type of properties do you want to sell? Another thing, think about what area you want to work in. One thing about Dallas is that it's 
it's a big metroplex. It's it's a huge area. There's Dallas, there's Fort Worth, there's Frisco, there's Plano, there's McKinney, there's all these different areas in Dallas. And with it being so big, it makes it extremely difficult to choose an area. But I think that that's still very important because you can choose to spend all of your marketing dollars all over the city and cast this wide net hoping something will stick or you can choose an area and give all of your efforts and have a greater reach because you can be looked at as that local area expert and that's what you want so you want to choose an area so we have types of homes and then we have an area another thing is going to be that price point Okay, I told you about my mistake that I made in the beginning and I wouldn't recommend only focusing on a specific price point unless you know in your heart that you're going to sell luxury and only that and nothing else. I wouldn't focus on a specific price point. Let people know that you can help them between a certain range. Instead of saying only above a million dollars, you may want to say homes between 200 and 500. You know, there's a lot more people that you can reach when you have that type of budget that you're attracting versus just a luxury clientele. The next thing with your brand is you wanna think about the look of your brand. You know, what is your brand going to look like? This is where we start talking about colors and fonts and the feel of certain things. The biggest thing that I can tell you about the look of your brand is you wanna have consistency across the board. What I would recommend when choosing colors is to hop on Google and type in popular trending colors okay you're gonna see websites pop up that show you different color schemes of what's hot these days okay you want to be able to not look like you are outdated not use crazy colors that are going to turn people off but the colors and the feel that people are really responding to these days this can set your brand ahead of everybody else you can of course choose your favorite color and all that kind of stuff but i would encourage you to think like a marketer when brands are popping up these days they're choosing popular colors in order to put that look out there and that's the same thing you want to do once you have your colors and what fonts you're going to use now you can start working on your business cards your signs if you're at a brokerage that allows you to have custom signs your websites all of that kind of stuff and i'm going to do a separate video talking about websites and looks and business cards so be sure to subscribe so that way you're notified when i release that video but this is very important you want to create a brand and create a look that you can be proud of right that your clients can be proud of you don't want this janky brand and janky look out there that people are going to be embarrassed to put on things that you're going to be embarrassed to have on a t-shirt so really take some time and i would encourage you to hire somebody if you're not an expert in this and you want a good brand hire somebody that can create this stuff for you this is something that once you get a good one it can last you for many, many, many years, probably the entirety of your real estate business. And you won't have to worry about hopping and switching around. I'll tell you, when I first launched my first brand, it didn't look as good as mine looks right now. So just take my advice and invest some time and money into a good brand. Once you have that, that's all you need as a new agent. You're ready to get out there and put your brand out there. It comes down to you really pushing that stuff out. So let me know down in the comments, how did you come up with your brand what what name are you thinking for your brand and i'll be sure to respond because i definitely want to hear what y'all have to say thank you for watching this video again click that thumbs up button i really appreciate it and consider subscribing because i have more videos coming like this and i would love to have you a part of my youtube family so until next time i'm chasing j miles and i will talk to you soon